Hello all, we move on to the sixth topic. This is a bit lengthy topic. It's not that easy and it's not that difficult as well. You need more practice for this topic. Once you practice, it'll be very easy. Now, here they have asked you to find the number and type of roots. There is two fold of the problems. The first type is one method and the second type is one more method. We will look into both of them. They have asked you to solve x to the power 4 plus 49x squared equals 0. Let me directly go into the topic now uh, to solve the problem. Here, you need to simplify this. This is the original equation. All you need to take is remove common terms out. You can see x to the power 2 is common. Remove it out. You are remaining with x squared plus 49. Now, what this means is you are multiplying two terms, isn't it? And the answer is 0. When does this happen? So now imagine your answer is 0. You are multiplying a number with some other number. So say I multiply 7 with which number will give me 0? Obviously it must be seven, 0. Or it can be 0 multiplied by some other number 8. The answer will be 0. So here what we are trying to imply is Either this or this number is 0. So we need to equate them both as 0. So either this term or the inside term must be equal to 0. So now that is the zero product property. We solve this, take the square root on both the sides at 0. Over here, you can use the calculator by mod 53. Let's do that. You can use mod 5 and 3 and solve it up it's 1 there is no x term so it's 0 and then the last term is 49 or you can just take this 49 to the other side it'll be x square equals negative 49 square root on both the sides would mean uh, x equals that root negative sign will be i plus or minus 7 sorry not root 49 it's 7 so this would be the answer. But even in the calculator, it will give you the same thing. 7i and minus 7i because it's plus or minus, isn't it? So you will get the same answer over here. You can simplify plus or minus 7i. Now, when I wrote it, I wrote plus or minus. I was separate because I sub... Uh, but remember, this is multiplication over here. I should have written it over here or I should have put this. This is the correct way to write it. Now, over here, what we need to do is state the number and the type of roots. So, here the degree is what? 4. So, 4 degree means there must be 4 roots or 4 solutions, 4 answers. So, now, how many answers did we find? We found plus or minus 7i. That is 2 over here. That is plus 7i, minus 7i. And there's only one zero, right? That means here, this is... Uh, having two, it's multi multiplicity of two. That means this is a double root basically because you found out these two. Okay, here since it might have touched like this, you know exactly. We we consider that as double root. Basically, you're repeating this two times. So there are two real, the, there are two real roots, or the root is repeated. We can say that is 0 and 0 and then there are two imaginary roots because it is power 4 if it was power 3 it was just three roots okay fine but since it's power 4 we need we know that there will be four but since this is repeated twice we have two of this and this and remember the uh, imaginary number will always be in pairs it will be plus or minus 7i or 2i it will be plus or minus so always it happens now let us see these problems. These are pretty straightforward. You can try solving them by yourselves. This is a linear function. You can just take it to the other side and solve. Negative 12 by 5. It's just one real root. Now if it's, you know, we will just go through these. Few of them. If it is x to the power 2, it's straight in calculator. Let me just recall. Mod 5, 3. How do we solve? 1, minus 4, and 40. Very straightforward. Over here we have got plus 2 plus 6i, 2 minus 6i. These are the two imaginary roots. Now similarly you can do all the two. I will do 3 as well to the power 3 and then I will come to this 4 and 5. So over here let me see this one. So, for example, then you have to go more 5 and then 4. That gives you cubic solving. 
now we get as 1 minus 6 7 and there is no constant at 0 so the answers are 3 plus or minus root i then 0 now over here you must know there is two times uh, let me just double check it now this is the root let me just see what mistake did i do it's 1 minus 6 7 and 0 yes it's all right it's 3 that is 3 plus root 2 okay 3 minus root 2 yeah it's zero sorry my bad i was thinking there are four roots this is the correct answer whatever we got there's no problem at all there are three real roots okay whenever you you must always look at this i just got confused because the last problem which we solved had four right so i I've, in my mind i was thinking there are four roots but look at this which is the degree it is power three there are three roots then so if it is power two there are two roots only now let us look at the four which we have already done before if you're thinking about the four just see the uh, beginning of the video we have done this similarly you can solve it you can take the common term or you can take the common numbers and simplify it you need to equate two things but what about this five that is also the same thing now over here you can simplify this first you need to remove common term that is x to the power 3 is common what is remaining x squared plus over here there is 4 equals 0 so now this will be equal to 0 or this will be equal to 0 so now equate x cube equal to 0 what is the answer x is equal to 0 but how many roots are there it is not 2 repeated it's 3 now it's 1 2 3 zeros why because x cube is 0 we are getting 0 yes but there are supposed to be three real roots okay three real roots which are 0 now the remaining term can be solved in the calculator mode 5 and 3 over here you, you need to put the co coefficients 1 there is no x term and 4 you will get 2i and minus 2i so plus or minus 2i that's two imaginary roots similarly we can solve the others please do try it by solving yourselves now if you're thinking over here what's going to happen see here you need to remove x common out and then you need to solve it will be x to the power 4 minus 8x squared plus 16. now if you're thinking how to solve this you need to uh, remember the uh, problem which we had solved in the previous videos we had done it in the quadratic form you need to employ that so over here it will be x you can do u substitution consider u as x squared and then it will be u squared minus 8u plus 16 and now you can easily solve it up what do you have to do you need to put this in the calculator simplify solve and you will get the answer so this is how we can try them all this will be equal to zero and these don't forget whatever the answer you get needs to be solved again as x squared and then simplify it so please do try them by yourselves uh, all of these problems and then check the answers all the answers are over here now we will go to the next type where we use Descartes rule now this is not Descartes, it's a Descartes, uh, it's a French name I believe, it's pronounced Descartes uh, in English generally, it's pronounced as Descartes. Anyways, now what, what this mathematician did was, he told if you have any equation, if you do few steps, you can understand how many maximum real roots or imaginary roots can be possible. So this was wonderful, let's see how. Now, what he, uh, now this is a big equation, right? x to the power 5. You must do this method. That's the thing. There are no proper shortcuts because the shortcuts may not work all the time. So you cannot bank on them. So it is better you be thorough with this method. The, don't try for the shortcuts in this. Now, we uh, find the possible positive real zeros, right? So now, first of all, you need to count the sign changing. How many times it changes its sign? It's positive at the beginning, right? x square x to the power 5 is positive it's one sign change from positive it became negative over here so plus to minus one then then it's same minus then from year to year see over here the, one second let me make it clear 
one sign change here there is no sign change it is negative to negative itself but again negative to positive there's another sign change second okay yes and then again over here you can see plus to minus and then again minus to plus so there is three and four sign changes this is what you're counting there are four sign changes so if four sign changes are there there are either four or two or zero it should be always multiples of two okay there is the four two or zero positive real zeros that is what it says now what about the imaginary one it's not over that's just the part one now you need to change this x into minus so what you need to do is instead of x over here you need to substitute minus x so f of x will be f of so instead of f of x you put f of minus x and then now you do the same thing now over here what happens before when you simplify remember when it's odd powers the negative sign sustains whereas if it's even powers the negative sign uh, diminishes so why because whenever it is odd power negative will be there you can try this in calculator take any number say phi to the uh, sorry minus phi to the power phi or when it's odd okay i'm just messing it up okay now that was very clumsy of me now phi it's minus right but now let me make it an even power it's always positive so the same thing over here negative remains over here positive but this minus sign remains negative negative becomes positive because it's odd and similarly it's changed now all you need to do is count the sign changes again there is no sign change from one to two but here it's negative to positive yes one sign change then there is no sign changes at all so now what what it means is there is only how much one sign change look no sign change no only one sign change then it's always positive there is only one change in sign so therefore there is one negative real zero so this is we we came to know how many positive real zeros were there just a while ago it was either uh, so after this we can count four two or zero and there is one negative real zero and the last one is writing this table now if you know how many positive real zeros and how many negative real zeros are there and the remaining ones has to be imaginary now in this case if there are four positive maximum four positive real zeros and one negative then there is zero imaginary because the maximum is five total is only five same way now let's reduce this it can be two but negative real zeros is maximum one so imaginary can be three uh, sorry two at the all it should be five same way now it can be zero as well sometimes there'll be only imaginary now we are this one is definite and now you have to write four imaginary and this is the answer remember if it's one it has to be there if it is two it can be two minus two zero so this is the thing that's how we do it if it was four four two zero if it was one it'll be only one but if it was three it'll be three one that's it. so now this is how please do try these problems by yourself pause the video solve it and then you can check that the answers all the answers are there now you have to just make the table and do it it is lengthy but it's simple just count the count the change in sign change the uh, x to minus x count the change in sign and do the table